We move on to the stairs, which is also on Thursday. And the three-mile hurdle, if you don't mind going through the prices again, please, uh, Leon. Yeah, um, Paisley Park is the favourite, Hugh, 13 to 8. Faheen, uh, 4 to 1. Super Sunday at 7 to 1. Um, Benny Dejew is in there, but I think she'll go in the mares in the first day. Black Op is 10 to 1. Uh, Kilbrick and Storm and Top Notch at 14 to 1. And then you have a whole host of horses, West Approach and Bacardi's are both 16 to 1. Um, Paisley Park was fantastic, Hugh, at the trials day um, at the end of January. But look, it was a very good performance, but I thought the race just set up for him. Um, he came there and he did it very nicely. But I think it'll be, I think it'll be a tougher race here in the stairs. Or the Robbie's horse ran a blinder last year to finish second to Penn Hill. Yeah. But he wants good ground. He doesn't want any type of soft in the description. A horse at a big enough price is Bacardi's at 16 to 1. If you look at the race last year, he fell at the last. I'm not saying he would have won the race. Would have definitely finished top three though. Oh, he definitely would have been toured. And they'd done the same thing last year. They tried him over fences. Roberta back to hurdles. They yeah. tried him this year. He was very unlucky with Ruby at Leopardstown. I thought he would have won that day when he came down at the last. Um, I thought Ruby judged the pace perfectly. He was just coming there. I can't remember the horse that beat him that day, but um, I thought he would have won that day. And I just think he's a very, very good horse. He's won a couple of grade ones. And I just think at a price at 16 to 1, he could run a big race. Okay, so Super Sunday, Bobby. Let's talk about him because you're going to be on board. And I presume you don't want the ground to be anything like it was last year. He's still won an absolute cracker, but just Penn Hill too good from the drier, the better. The better ground, the better from. Yeah, definitely. Uh, he, he's a Galileo. He loves good ground. And uh, if it came up good on the Thursday, that'd be great. He'd, he, he'd love it. And it helps him also to get the, the three miles. You know, I think three miles up the hill is just right at the, the pin of his collar trip-wise. Um, on good ground, he'd get it. I think he got it last year. And he was a good winner. He'd been a good winner without Penn Hill. You know, he was five or six times clear of the third horse. So uh, yeah, you couldn't say that he, he, he didn't get it. <laughs> and yours. Uh, I, like... The English are ranting and raving about Paisley Park and they're picking holes in Apples Jade's form because Apples Jade has beaten Super Sunday twice. Paisley Park has beaten West Approach, who I've ridden for Colin Tizard, and is a very, very ordinary horse. Okay. So uh, this horse is totally overhyped as far as you're concerned. Yeah. Uh, like, I, Barry Garrity rode in the race that Paisley Park won in Cheltenham when he came in and he said Penn Hill and Super Sunday and then we'll, we'll eat Go him ahead. up. We'll really? eat him up, yeah. That's interesting. Uh, no, he was a good winner on the day, but he's twice he's won his grade ones. He's beaten uh, West Approach and no disrespect to West Approach, but he wouldn't be mapped if he ran in this race. Uh, he'd probably finish fifth or sixth. That's uh, great. That's great information because 13 to 8, to me, was a ridiculous price for a horse that really, as I say, what is he beaten? That's, you know, the yeah, he's done it. He's beaten West Approach twice and fair play to him. Um, but I'd, ra <laughs> I'd, rather, I'd, ra I'd rather back up with Jay who's beaten Super Sunday twice yeah. than Paisley Park who's beaten West Approach twice. Yeah. Uh, I, I think that... Um, He's, I don't know why he's overpriced because he won by big distances, but he beat a very ordinary horse by big distances. Yeah, I mean, Super Sunday is, is a great show from Robbie there. Obviously, Faheen is, is going to be in the mix as well, Ted. And Willie says it's a miracle they got him back after that last fall, but he is, he's back flying around close up in the yeah, back. Yeah, a few Bob and, and Faheen at 14 to 1. Uh, each way I bet there, I think he's, he won't be on the first three. Uh, I think he would have been a good second to Apple Jade at Leperstown. Yeah. Uh, a good second. And if he stood up and was a good second there, I don't think there would have been 12 or 14 to 1 about him. Uh, he's a tough horse. He was always looked to me from his novice days that he was a slayer that was just good enough to win a champion hurl. He won a three mile hurl race at Limerick at the Christmas of the year. He won the two mile and five, the Ballymore. And uh, he just was a. He lost his way a bit when he got injured and one thing another. But I think that he, looking at him last year in Punchestown, he was good. And uh, he was good again this year. I just think that he's a, 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 a really tough horse. And I think that. He's not a great price now at four to one, uh, but he was good value at twelve and fourteen to one for an each way bet. I think he won't be able to money anyway. Will you give us fourteen to one about four here, Leon? Will you later on? <laughs> after after listening to Puppy Power, what will you give about Paisley Park? He says he's no chance. You're going thirteen to eight. Yeah, I redeem yourself. Most of them, most of them, Ted, are very short on him. Um, look, you, anyone, most of them are not you. Anybody wants to speak or wants to back Paisley Park, come and have a chat with me. Um, but I think after a. 
What does that mean? Here. What does that mean? Here. Just that means you can we'll have give you a price. We'll give you a top price in the industry. There's no problem. We'll give you a top price, Paisley Park, no hassle. But after what Robbie said, I wouldn't be going near Paisley Park. Okay. Uh, Jane, so, you know, if, if Faheen wins, the crowd will go absolutely ballistic. It would be fantastic to see Faheen go and win this race. Super Sunday equally as well. I, I know so many people were on him as well to see Robbie as well to go and do it for Jessica. Who do you like in this? Well, look, we'll have Underso on the board, and then we'll go on to Faheen. The, the money will roll over. Right, okay. Um, <laughs> look, class is class. And look, Faheen, he's a, he's a champion hurdler, but as Ted said, you know, he was a, he was a point to pointer in, in his younger days. I think everybody thought that he might end up being a, 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 maybe a Gold Cup type horse. But look, he, he's loads of gears, and um, he's not, he, due to injury, he's not an over raced horse. So he, he might be getting on in years, but he's not a heavily raced horse. He's the class horse of the lineup. Super Sunday is a fantastic horse has a bri- been a brilliant servant to connections but he's a horse that always nearly finds one too good he was lucky in punchstown last year um who's to say what would have happened but he he ran out a clear cut winner when they Mel- well better when they fell oh yeah <laughs> He has to say that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but I do agree with his sentiments about the English horses. Look, Black Op didn't like jumping fences. Kilbrick and Storm has done nothing this season. Top Notch was well beaten by Paisley Park. Um, Al Ascot. West Approach is probably going to run in a handicap. Bacardi's is each way value. But to be fair, I wouldn't look outside Faheen and, and Super Sunday. They have the best form in the race. And um, in an ordinary renewal of the, of the world hurdle or the stairs or whatever it's called now, um, I'd be going with the class act. Okay, all right. So, Faheen getting a big shout in Super Sunday as well from Robbie.